grew up in Pacajitas. There are a lot of pastures and like coffee plantations and sugarcane plantations. Um, so all the families work in, in agriculture since we were in the kindergarten. We used to go coffee picking. Mojajones is a small community. It's located 20 minutes away from where I grew up. So I know all the people there. What happened too is that there were no job opportunities because the sugarcane production, the coffee plantations, were not generating a lot of income. Or we wanted to develop a business to bring groups in from all over the world to experience what Mojajones has to offer so that it would be an additional source of income for the community. They pay for lodging, they pay for food, there are different activities that they visit in the community to learn about the local culture. And so this idea came up of developing an ecotourism program. Like, why don't we use what we already have to show it to people? I guess that the project could be called Sustainable Economic Development of the Community. So Pedro learned this technique 30 years ago when he was doing a workshop that the National Learning Institute brought into the community. So that would be three, four months maybe for him to be able to get the new tree out of the mother tree. It's a different way to use his land as an alternate source of income. So he would produce the guavas, sell them, and then those would be used to produce jelly and other materials. And then secondly, he would bring groups to show them the process. That's what the classes taught him, to use the tools and the knowledge that he already had and turn them into a business that would bring income into his family. The idea came from the community, and that's actually what inspired me. Uh, and they knew that I was studying ecotourism. They had never run programs or they didn't know anything about logistics. They needed someone with a little bit of knowledge about uh, tourism and about just business. So we had told the president of the Tourism Association that we had this project. So we had to put together a list of tours and excursions that would be part of the program. And we had to think about, okay, if we bring visitors in, are they going to stay in the community? It was like a list of deliverables that we could do. Under shirts, because they, in the past, they didn't have a point. and alimentation. Well, before the project, to obtain an economic is to get coffee. And it's what we call to get together. Why don't you do the camera? Tanto yo como como las otras mujeres, específicamente, digamos, como una actividad eh, diferente, no no había aquí en la comunidad. So they are going to show us how they make the traditional handmade bread. We eat it pretty much every day here uh, in our houses. So people normally like this activity because they get to do all the this with their hands. <laughs> as part of the CCA program. I took classes from the hospitality and tourism management program. Then we did like human resources, we did marketing, uh, we did like facilities management. So those classes were really helpful to learn business skills that I hadn't had the opportunity to study. And so I also did like a research of different ecotourism initiatives that were taking place in Arizona. I can relate it to the experience here. When I came back, I had to write a sort of a proposal so that we could show that to the president of the Tourism Association. And so they get to do what they are used to do at their homes, but to show it to people from all over the world, and then they get to connect with these people that they receive. Kids used to go to the elementary school. Some of them went to the high school after that, and then they would have no goals. Y ahora ellos, al ver que llegan biólogos, que llegan eh, maestros, doctores, que llegan diferentes personas con diferentes oficios, el beneficio que se ha creado en las familias, el ver que los niños, ellos aspiran un poco más. ¿Qué le puedo decir? El proyecto ha superado mis expectativas. I realized that I wanted to pursue a career that would be like more social, that would allow me to help more people. But I went for ecotourism because that would allow me to work with 
families and with projects like this one. I'm so proud of this community. Uh, you want to take care of the environment and you want to involve people. So it's got like the economical, the ecological and the social part of it. That's like the main three topics that we include when we study ecotourism. Y yo creo que para todos es una inspiración el que le haya ido a los Estados Unidos. Porque cuando uno lo vi a trabajar con el papá, uno tal vez no creía lo que él podía llegar a hacer o lo que uno puede llegar a hacer. It's changed so much. <laughs>